Praise the Lord, my family in Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it, amen. This is the gospel movement, yo. Jesus Christ movement. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ in its entirety without compromise. I have another blessed, fresh, holy, spirit filled word. Come from our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, amen. Very powerful message. Once again, we must take heed to all these end time gospel messages. Come from our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. Our eternal destination depends on it. God is saying a lot to us in this final hour. We must take heed, my friend, in Christ. Very powerful, once again, uh, the title of the message is this. Uh, very clear. God will never okay our sins, but through Jesus Christ alone, he forgives our sins. God will never okay our sins, but through Jesus Christ alone, he forgives our sins. So, the Holy Spirit gave me this uh, this morning, and, and, and this is just explaining to us that, uh, letting us know that, God is not going to cake, uh, okay any mess. He's not going to bless no mess, you feel me? But through Jesus Christ alone, through Jesus Christ alone, he forgives our sins. That's that's how merciful our God is and, and how powerful he is. Um, and that's why Jesus Christ came as God in the flesh uh, to take our place on the cross and rise from the dead for our justification and died on the cross for our sins. So let's go to uh, Psalms 103, 8 through 14, very powerful. It says, the Lord is merciful and gracious, merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He have not dealt with us after our sins. See, he have not dealt with us after our sins. Um, he nor rewarded us according to our iniquities, which is sins. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. When it says fear him, I'm talking about those of us that reverence him as the one and only true living God. Trusting in Jesus Christ alone, having a heart of repentance, looking to Him, uh, um, having a personal relationship with God, reverencing God, not fear Him, being afraid, like He's gonna hit us over the head every time we make a mistake. Fear Him is, is you know, reverencing for who He is. You feel me? The one only true living God. It says, as far as the east is from the west, so far He has He removed our transgressions from us. That's how far they from us when we trust in Christ alone and have a heart of repentance, our sin nature. They, those sins are no longer attached to us. So, if we were a fornicator, when we receive Christ, we're no longer that. We may fall short in those areas. We were homosexual. We, we, we receive Christ, we're no longer that. If we were a thief, we receive Christ, we're no longer that. Murderer or liar or um, materialistic or self-righteous or whatever. We're no longer that once Christ is in our heart. We, we make mistakes plenty uh, in this walk and we may fall short in these things. But when someone is is is, is uh, claiming that they love uh, love Jesus Christ and Christ is in their heart. If they are living in these situations and, and justifying that, then they they truly don't have Christ in their heart. Because once Christ is in the heart, it says He removes uh, as far as the east is from the west. So far, He removed our transgressions from us. We're no longer attached to those sins. We don't live in them. So it says, like as like like as a father pity, pities his children, so the Lord pities them that fear Him. See. For he knows, he knoweth our frame. He remembers that we are dust. So, God remembers how he created us. That we are human. That we are not perfect. He remembers that we are not 100% spiritual. You feel me? He understands that. So, he's going to, 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 to continue to love us with extreme love. And, and, and to pull us away from sin's destructive power controlling our lives. He's going to continue to feed his, his 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 empowerment his correction his encouragement through the holy spirit you know if we reject it then we will be thrown into the lake of fire of the judgment due to rejecting his love but not because he was angry at us or we so we, we we wasn't perfect or we made mistakes it's because we rejected his love that's that's just it you feel me the lake of fire is reserved for the devil and his angels uh, according to uh matthew um, 2541 but some of us will experience the lack of fire doing the rejecting his love and that's a tragic situation Micah 7 18 through 20 who is God like unto thee that pardon pardoneth iniquity which is sin and passes by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage he retained not his anger forever because he delighted in mercy see how it says God 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 delights in mercy takes great pleasure in mercy that means he take great pleasure in loving us you feel me it says, um, he will turn again, he will turn again, uh, he will have compassion upon us, he will subdue our iniquities, watch this, very powerful, watch this, watch how powerful this is, 
he will he will uh, subdue our iniquities, and thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea, the sea of forgetfulness. Thou wilt perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, what thou hast shown unto our fathers from the days of old. So, you must understand that God will never okay our sins, but through Jesus Christ alone, He forgives our sins. This, this is powerful. You feel me? This, this gives us, this gives us uh, the victory on today. When we notice, when we, when we, when we can understand this, um, how God feels about us and His our relationship with Him through Jesus Christ and how powerful that is, then we can walk in total victory. But if we don't understand that, and we think it's about works. We think it's about uh, if I'm paying my tithes and offering or not, or if I didn't do this sin or did did do that sin, or if I attended a certain amount of church, church services, or how many uh, days I went went to go witness, or how many uh, um, uh, prayer shut-ins I've been to, or if I'm speaking in tongue or prophesying. If we look to those things, then that's where we don't we we fall short in, in our victory because. We we can't be a hundred percent in operating in those things, and the whole point of the matter is is Jesus Christ alone, who is the Holy Spirit, validates our salvation and who we are in Christ. So we are not validated by anything we see here with our two eyes, or, or, or what we think, uh, who we think we are, or or what our own mindset. Christ alone is our validation, yo. Christ alone. So be encouraged on today. Hebrews fit. I mean Hebrews ten fifteen through twenty three says um wherefore the holy ghost also is a witness to us for after that he had said before this is the covenant that i will make with them after those days says the lord i'll put my laws into their hearts see and in their minds will i write them and their sins and iniquities will i remember no more now where remission of these is there is no more offering for sin there's no more offering for sin nothing else we can do to, to, to atone for our sins There's nothing no, no, Nothing else we can do There's it's, it's, it's no sacrifice There's no good deed There's no Certain spiritual gift We can operate in Or whatever the case may be It's no more Because Christ did it Watch this Having therefore brethren Boldness to enter Into the holiest By the blood of Jesus When it says boldness Confidence Through Christ We can enter to the holy of holies We can enter to the presence of God Having confidence in Christ Down on the cross for our sins It says By a new And what Living way which he have consecrated, set aside as part, part is holy for us through the veil that is to say what? His flesh. And having a high priest over the house of God. Who is the high priest? One and only high priest is Jesus Christ. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with what? Pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, without wavering. For he is faithful that promised. See? We don't have to waver in our faith in, in Christ because He is faithful. He promised that we we, we will always uh, have the victory. He promised that He will always fight for us. He promised that we can be in, in the presence of God. He promised that we have eternal life in Him. So we, we, we don't have to waver in our faith, you feel me? We just got to trust in Him alone. Be encouraged on today knowing this. Um, the whole point of the matter is God will never okay our sins. Never. Never, no way, shape, form, or fashion. No, no situation. Um, no excuse. He will never justify or okay our sins. But through Jesus Christ alone, He forgives our sins. And this is this is this is the gospel, yo. This is this is this is what this is about. Looking to Jesus Christ alone. And the whole part of the matter is is we we walk this life out here. You feel me? You know, it's, it's tough. It's rough. It's things we face. We get we get so many attacks. And we do things ourselves and, and put ourselves in certain positions that, that, that we don't have to be in because of our disobedience to God. But peep this. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ alone pulls us out when we trust in him. He will keep us. He says in uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 12, 9, he says, My grace is sufficient. My grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. So for when we are weak in ourselves, men in our flesh, we are strong in Christ because we're looking to him. If we think we're so self-righteous and strong in ourselves, we're puffed up. We think because we preach so much, we fast, we fast and pray so much, we read God's word so much, we speak in tongue or prophesy or we pay so many tithes so much that we all that in a bag of chips. Then we are weak. We are so weak. We, are, we have no strength in Christ. We, can't, we, have no, uh, we are so weak spiritually. See, the strength he's talking about is spiritual strength. 
See, we're strong in Christ. When I'm weak physically, I'm strong spiritually in Christ because Christ is everything, yo. So, when we are weak in ourselves, because we always going to be weak in our flesh, we can't be strong in ourselves, then we have all the strength in the world spiritually in Christ by the mercy and grace of God. So, God will never okay our sins, but through Jesus Christ, Christ alone, he forgives our sins. Get this in the heart of my spirit. Please read Psalms 103, 8 4 through 14, Micah 7, 8 through 20, Hebrews 10, 15 through 23. Remember, you're amazing inside of Christ. He loves you and never leave enough forsake you. I love you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. This is the gospel movement, yo. Jesus Christ movement. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ is tired without compromise. Be encouraged, be corrected, be empowered, be strengthened, be forgiven, be loved, be protected. Um, in my name, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who loves us deeply and dearly. And, and just. Just continue to pray for me as I go through. I pray for you as you go through. I mean, because in these end times, we got to hold one another up. You feel me? That's what it's about. Divided, uh, uh, um, divided we fall, but united we stand in the body of Christ. Love you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. God bless you.